In this video, we'll talk about how to visit the Supreme Court. As the people's highest court in the land, both the building and the court cases are open to the public. The Supreme Court is located on Capitol Hill, just across the street from the Capitol building and easily accessible by metro, hop-on, hop-off bus, or taxi. The public entrance to the Supreme Court is beneath the grand entrance staircase, and there are security screening theaters on either side. It doesn't matter which side you use if they're both open. You'll enter into a long corridor that acts as a museum, with a short film about the Supreme Court at the end. Our suggestion is to make your way all the way to the movie first. It's about 25 minutes long and focuses on the building and interviews with the justices. You can then make your way back exploring the museum. When you reach the end of the exhibits, you'll find staircases on either side heading up. This is where you go to see the actual courtroom. Since this is a working federal building, you are limited as to where you can go on your self-guided tour. The only way to visit the courtroom is by attending a docent lecture or attending a court case. When the court is not in session, 30-minute courtroom lectures are held every hour on the half hour, from 9.30 a.m. to 3.30 p.m. Seating is first come, first serve, so during the busy spring and summer months, expect to get there early to wait in line. For the most up-to-date information on when lectures are scheduled, be sure to visit the lecture calendar. Court cases are also open to the public. They are called oral arguments. They are one hour long sessions where each side is allowed 30 minutes to argue before the court. From the first Monday in October to the middle of April, cases are generally heard on Mondays, Tuesdays, and Wednesdays at 10 a.m. and 11 a.m. There are two ways to attend a Supreme Court case. You can either secure a seat and witness entire oral argument, or you can catch a quick three minute glimpse of the proceedings. There are two lines that form on the plaza before each case. For landmark Supreme Court cases, some people will line up days in advance to guarantee a spot. On non-high profile day, people arrive around 6 a.m. to 7 a.m. Normally, only the first 50 are able to get in. If you don't get a seat to watch the entire oral argument, you can also do a walkthrough where you stay for a few minutes and then move on. Why not make a half day of it and visit both the United States Capitol building as well as the Library of Congress? Or better yet, take one of our Capitol Hill walking tours. For more information on any of these federal buildings on Capitol Hill, visit our website at freetoursbyfoot.com. And be sure to subscribe to our channel for more insider information to help plan your visit to D.C. and other cities.